In this video, we're going to prove this following result for the scalar product. So first of all, imagine this triangle here. So this side here, we're going to make that vector A. So this is the vector A. So to get from here to here, we traverse the vector A. Likewise, let's call this one vector B. The angle here is theta. And this vector here, well, to get from here down to here, minus A plus B. So that's minus A plus B, just using GCSE vector rules. So we've got everything we need to start making this proof. Now, notice we've got a cos theta here. So we're going to try and relate everything to cos theta. We're going to use the cosine rule. So the length of this side here, when we apply the cosine rule, gives, well, the length of minus A plus B squared equals the length of A squared plus the length of B squared minus 2 times the length of A times the length of B cos theta. And this is basically the essence of the proof. We're going to simplify this now, and it'll hopefully, at the end, give us the cosine rule. So first of all, let us define what the vectors A and B are. So we're going to let A be the vector with components A1, A2, and A3. We're going to let B equal the vector with components B1, B2, and B3. And together this implies that minus A plus B, or B minus A, is equal to B1 minus A1, B2 minus A2, B3 minus A3. So that's what we're going to work with. So first of all, let's find the length of A. Let's find the given moduli that we need. So the length of A squared equals, using Pythagoras, A1 squared plus A2 squared plus A3 squared. The length of B squared, must remember to underline the vectors, equals B1 squared plus B2 squared plus B3 squared. And the length of A minus B, sorry, B minus A squared, equals B1 minus A1 squared plus B2 minus A2 squared plus B3 minus A3, all squared. And let's multiply that out. Equals B1 squared minus 2B1A1 plus A1 squared plus B2 squared minus 2B2A2 plus A2 squared plus B3 squared minus 2B3A3 plus A3 squared. So just tidying that up a little bit, we get A1 squared plus A2 squared plus a3 squared plus b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared minus two lots of a1b1 plus a2b2 plus a3b3. 
So now we've got all the constituent parts that we need to sub in to the cosine rule. So the cosine rule, as we wrote before, with the relevant parts for this situation subbed in, is that there. So going back down, there it is there. So now let's sub all these bits in. So we've got minus a plus b squared. So that's that monstrosity there. Let's copy that down. So a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared plus b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 b3 squared minus two lots of a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 and just notice that there is the definition of the dot product between vectors a and b a1 b1 plus a2 b2 plus a3 b3 so we can on the next sweep through this replace that with a dot b okay so that's this part of the cosine rule so now just so we've got enough room going to the next line equals mod of a squared so a1 squared plus a2 squared plus a3 squared plus and then the modulus of b squared which is b1 squared plus b2 squared plus b3 squared minus 2 times the length of a the length of b cos theta and we're going to keep this as the length of a length of b we're not going to write that we're not going to break it down into what it actually means and that we'll see will make the proof a lot easier okay so now we've got this expression here or rather this equation here that we need to simplify well i noticed that both sides have a1 squared a2 squared a3 squared likewise for all the b components squared so we can just take those from each side Like that. So we're left with minus two, and that is a dot b. We said earlier the definition of the scalar product a one b one plus a two b two plus a three b three equals minus two, the length of a times the length of b cos theta divide both sides by minus 2 which gives that a dot b equals the length of a times the length of b cos theta as required so we've done it we've proved using the cosine rule this identity here for the scalar product for more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.